Hello, my name is TreeFan and today I'm going to demonstrate how to configure a 4-axis AMC system for use with EtherCAT commands. First, we'll go through the expected configuration with driveware. Then we'll show how to set up AMC drives with TwinCAT, a software-based master developed by Beckoff. Lastly, we'll go over a few troubleshooting tips. Driveware is required to configure all AMC digital drives and is available for free on the AMC website under the software download section on the downloads page. The hardware I am using is an example of our DXM technology and consists of one master drive and three slave drives. You use a drive address of 63 to connect to the master drive. This drive is already configured and tuned to operate this motor, but I'll run through the parameters that are required for EtherCAT commands. In the configuration zero page, the command source must be set to communication channel. Under the network section of the system browser, the RPDOs and TPDOs must be set to the defaults if you are using the unedited AMC XML files. If they aren't set to the defaults, you can do so by clicking on load presets. On the network settings page, you can set the mode of operation that will be active on power up and the cyclic mode period. The cyclic mode period should match the update rate sent by the master when using the drive in any of the cyclic modes of operation. Another point to note is that the motor used with this drive has an incremental encoder with a resolution of 2500 lines per revolution or 10,000 counts per revolution. This parameter will be used later to calculate velocity commands. For this setup, you can connect to the other three slave drives by changing the address without having to connect the USB to a different port. 62 corresponds to drive 2. 61 corresponds to drive 3. And 60 corresponds to drive 4. The other three drives should be configured in the same way as the master drive. Now that the drives have been configured with driveware, we can move on to TwinCAT setup. First, you will need to download the AMC XML files. These can be found under the software download section on our website. There is one main XML file and four dictionary XML files. The dictionary XMLs for multiple axes only apply if you are using a DXM setup like I am. Otherwise, the, res the relevant dictionary XML will be the one for a single axis. These files have to be copied over to the following TwinCAT folder. We are using version 4022.29 of TwinCAT on this computer for reference. Once TwinCAT has been opened, select the TwinCAT XAE project. Select a name and then create the project. If this is the first time using TwinCAT, you will need to install the TwinCAT driver onto your network interface card. This window shows what network cards on your computer are compatible with the TwinCAT driver. Select a compatible card and install the driver. Once this is complete, make sure TwinCAT is in config mode. Then right click on devices and select scan. TwinCAT should be able to find the drive and you can put the system into free run mode. You can see that the position PDOs update for each axis as I spin the corresponding motor by hand.
we are now going to create a task in TwinCat to enable the drives and command the motors to go to a target position. Right click on task and create a task. Select TwinCat task with image. Change the cycle time to one millisecond to match the cyclic mode period for the drives. We are going to need to create variables in the task and then link to the required PDOs. The control word PDO is used to enable the drive and is a uint variable. The target position R PDO is used to send position commands and is a deint variable. Right click on outputs and then create a variable for the control word. You can type in the variable field to quickly locate the correct variable type. Now link the variable to the control word PDO. Holding down the control key will allow you to select multiple PDOs which will allow this variable to enable all four drives. Now do the same for the target position. Activate the configuration. Open the control word variable and then send 6, 7, and then F and hex to move the drives through the state machine to the enabled state. Now I can command all four motors to spin a full revolution forward by commanding 10,000 counts. I can move the drive the full revolution back by commanding zero. Now let's set up the drive for velocity commands. Put TwinCat back into config mode because we are going to make changes to the project. Next, add another variable to the task and link it to the target velocity PDO. This will also be a deint variable. Now we need to change the mode of operation from cyclic position to cyclic velocity. Go to the online tab and put the drives into pre-op state. Then go to the COE tab and change object 6060 from 8 to 9. Since we have four drives connected, the modes of operation object must be changed for all four. You can see that there is a constant offset between the objects for all four drives. Activate the configuration again. Unlike position commands, velocity commands require some unit conversions. From the AMC EtherCAT communication manual, the target velocity object is in units of DS1. Thus, you will need to multiply the desired target velocity by the scaling factor before sending the result as the velocity command. In this case, Ki is 1 because every motor is using an incremental encoder and Ks will be 20,000 because the switching frequency for these drives is 20 kHz. If we want to send a target of 1000 RPM, for example, we need to first convert the counts per second by using the resolution of the encoder, which is 10,000 counts per revolution in this case. 
we can then multiply this result by the scaling factor. For TwinCat, commands can be entered in decimal notation, but some masters require hex notation, so both have been included here for reference. Use the control word to once again enable the drive. Enter the previously calculated result as a target velocity. As you can see, all the motors are now spinning at the same speed. To verify this, we can connect the driver in read-only mode and see that the target velocity is at 1000 RPM and that the measured velocity is also at 1000 RPM. When the XML files don't match the PDO set on the drive, you will typically get the following error messages in TwinCat when trying to add a drive and enter config mode. The first thing to do in this case is to connect to the drive using driveware in read-only mode and double-check the PDO mappings. As can be seen, the RPDOs are set to the defaults as intended. The TPDOs are also set to the defaults as intended. The next thing to check will be the PDO section of the main XML file. We can see that the RPDOs in the XML file match what is set in DriveWare. For tpdos, the XML file is missing the digital inputs tpdo. You can add an entry for the missing tpdo like so. If you don't know all of the information associated with a PDO, you can look it up in the dictionary XML file. You can look for the PDO of interest by searching for its index, in this case, 2023. By going to sub-index 1, you can see all of the information required to create an entry for that PDO. You should also verify in the dictionary XML that the number of entries for TPDOs and RPDOs match the number of PDOs set in driveware. This can be done by searching for DT1600. As you can see, the number of map RPDOs match what is in driveware and the number of map TPDOs match what is in driveware. In this case, only the main XML file had an error, so we can save the XML file, restart TwinCat, and put the drives into config mode. As you can see, there are no more error messages and the PDOs update as expected. If the scan function in TwinCat doesn't find the drives automatically, you can try to add the drives manually and then activate config mode from there. The first step is to add the EtherCAT master. As 
Then you can add the drives. If the XML file is in the correct TwinCat folder, you should see advanced motion controls as an option. If the PDLs don't update automatically, you can click this button to reload them. If a fault occurs during operation, it is possible to recover using only Ethercat commands. For example, let's disconnect the feedback cable from Axis 1. We can see that the status word has changed to indicate that there is a fault. You can monitor additional status objects to determine what fault is present, or you can connect to driveware in read-only mode and look at the status panel. Once the fault has been addressed by reconnecting the feedback cable in this case, you can reset faults by sending 128 in decimal or 80 in hex to the control word. We see that the status word has now changed back to indicate that there is no fault.